Hey Crafter! So I have this cable for my iPad and sadly it broke. <laughs> Normally I use pen springs and a little bitty hair elastic to put around the ends just to strengthen them, but I forgot to on this one. And also fun fact, I saved pen springs before it was cool to save pen springs. I saved them ever since I was very little, before iPhones were even a thing. And then lo and behold, I was able to find a use for them. So anyways, yay me for hoarding. But this particular cable is a specifically Apple made cable. So it's one of like two cables that I can use to actually back up my phone to my laptop because other cables just don't work. It's very frustrating. So I definitely want to repair this and be able to keep using this. So I'm gonna show you how I'm going to repair this and crochet over it and just make it cute and functional again. First off, since I do have an actual tear in the plastic and I've got exposed wire, I'm going to use a little bit of electrical tape to just seal that off because I I don't want to have yarn right against the wire because that could very well be a fire hazard. I'm going to put some tape all the way around here. And I'm doing it really thick so that way it becomes flush with this thicker section. And then I'm going to do a little piece going around both of those. And then even though this end isn't ripped, I'm going to do the same thing just so that way if it tears in the future and I don't notice it because of the crochet over it, I don't have to worry about it. And it would just make it a little stronger. You could also put a pen spring around here instead of taping it. And right around that narrower part of the cord right underneath the thicker part. Go around a bunch to make it about as thick as this piece up here. And then I'll cut a smaller piece that will only go around once or twice to go over this section right here. All right, so our cable is now prepped for crocheting. All right, so now that we have our cable prepared, it's time to get out our yarn and hook and crochet right over this. If you know how to crochet, this process is going to be very straightforward, but even if you don't know how to crochet, I'm gonna break it down for you. So even if you've never picked up a crochet hook before, you should be able to follow along with this project. First of all, as far as materials, I'm using this pink yarn and I'm fairly confident this is a Karen Simply Soft yarn, but I'll research that and make sure that's what kind of yarn this is and I will link it in the description below. As far as crochet hook, I'm using this size F 3.75 millimeter aluminum hook by Boy. So let's get into crocheting our cable cover. When we crochet, we work from the right to the left, unless you're left-handed, in which case just mirror what I do. So the first thing we need to do is create a slip knot, and I'm gonna show you how I like to create a slip knot just because it's a very easy, simple motion. I'm going to take my tail of yarn in my right hand, and I'm gonna take two fingers in my left hand, and I'm gonna drape it from back to front across the front of my fingers. So it's gonna be a little something like this, okay? Just coming from the back to the front. And then I'm gonna hold with my right hand both of these tail pieces, and I'm gonna twist down, and with these two fingers that are in this little loop we've created, I'm gonna grab the longer piece and pull. Just like that to make a little slip knot. And as you practice, you can leave a shorter tail. Your tail doesn't have to be this long. But once we've got a slip knot, we've just had this little loop here. We're gonna stick our hook through there and pull on the left-hand side to size it down to the size of our crochet hook. So now it's time to start working some stitches. We're going to do what's called a single crochet stitch, but since we're working around a cable instead of working in stitches, it's gonna look a little different. What I want to do in my right hand is I'm gonna hold the hook and the tail of yarn in my right hand, and then in my left hand I'll hold this piece of yarn that feeds to the ball of yarn, just in between two of my fingers. You don't wanna hold so tight that you can't pull anything through. Hold it loose enough that you can slide yarn through there. That give just a little bit of resistance. So while holding it like this, I'm going to take my crochet hook and I'm gonna go underneath the bottom of my cable. So now it's on the opposite side. And with the hook, I'm going to catch the yarn that's back there. So now I'll have this loop from the slip knot and then this loop that we just created. Then I'm going to bring the yarn from back to front across the front of my hook. And then we're going to pull this loop through both of these loops. Now to make this motion easier, instead of holding the tail end with our right hand, we're gonna pass this to our left hand. And that's gonna give some tension so when we pull with our hook, we will be able to slide it through. So to pull through with my hook, I'm going to turn my hook facing downward so it's catching this third strand here. Pull it through that first loop and through the second loop. And that is how you crochet a single crochet stitch. And we're just gonna do a whole bunch of these down the length, so I'll show you that again. Go under our cable and under our yarn and catch the yarn with your hook and pull it to the front. Then bring the yarn 
from the back across the front of the hook, and that's called a yarn over. Then lastly, pass your work to your left hand, and with your right hand, turn your hook down so it catches the yarn, and pull it through both loops. And that's a second single crochet stitch. And I'm just sliding it further up against my cable piece here. And we're just going to keep repeating this all the way along. So reach under, catch the yarn with your hook and pull it to the front. Then yarn over, bring it from back to front. Pass your work to your left hand, turn the hook downward to catch the yarn and pull it through both loops. One more time. Go under our cable with the hook and catch the yarn with the hook and pull it to the front and top of our cable. At this point we're holding the hook and our project in the right hand. With the left hand bring the yarn over from back to front across your crochet hook. Pass your work to your left hand, turn your hook facing downward so it catches that yarn we just yarned over and pull it through both loops on your hook. And that's a single crochet stitch and how to work it on a cable. I'm just going to repeat this process until I have gone the entire length of my cable. So at this point I've crocheted about halfway down the length of my cable, but I do want to show you a couple things just so that way you can know if you need to adjust anything or not. So first of all, I don't want to be able to see the cable through the crocheting, but down along here you can see some of the cable sticking through. So what I'm doing to counteract that is I'm just taking my stitches and sliding them as tight together as possible. So they really fill in the entire width of the cable. Now if you do that, you're gonna end up with kind of a roughly look, but what you can do is you can choose to spiral your stitches around the cable, and that will compensate for sliding the stitches closer together. You can do a really nice spiral like that, and I think that's what I'm going to do with mine. But I just wanted to give you both of those ideas. Of course, if you're fine with seeing the cable through there, then you don't need to worry about it. But if you wanna make it completely covered, you can slide the stitches tightly together. And then if you want, instead of leaving it kind of roughly and bunchy, you can twist it so that the tops of the stitches, that little nub spirals around, and that will look super cute. But I'm gonna finish crocheting the other half, and then I will show you how we finish this off. So I am just about to the end of crocheting along this cable. As you can see, I've been spiraling it. And these are just the tops of the stitches, that little nub that makes it create the spiral. Of course, you don't have to decide to spiral it, but if you do decide to spiral it, what works best is if you work a little section of stitches and then slide it down and spiral versus crocheting the whole length and then trying to spiral it. It's a bit more manageable if you only do a few stitches at a time. So here I'm going to crochet probably about 10 or so stitches. This is three. And again, as you work, you can work either very tightly or you can work loosely. Just try to keep your tension and the tightness or looseness of your stitches consistent throughout the whole length of the cable. But here you can see I'm just kind of crocheting a bit loosely and you can see the cable through my stitching. I've gone this little section here and when I slide this, I like to first make my loop here really big so I don't accidentally unravel it and I'm just gonna push it back and then twist and I'm twisting like towards me and then just unwind it from that little end there and then crochet and twist my next section so I'm gonna get all the way to the end make sure my stitches are very snug so that way it won't slide down to the opposite end and then I will show you how we fasten off all right so I have worked my very last stitch all the way to the end the last thing we need to do is what's called fasten off and it's super easy so we're going to take our yarn and go over from the back to the front, so that's a yarn over. Catch it with our hook, and we'll turn our hook downward, and hold our work on our left hand to provide some tension, and just pull it up for that loop. And then we'll pull this kind of tall, and then using scissors, we're going to cut the middle of this loop. And then we can take this end that's attached to our ball of yarn and pull it out. Take this end and pull it tight and it'll cinch right up and fasten it off. The last thing we want to do is we don't want these tail ends sticking out, but if we cut them, we risk our project unraveling. So I'm going to use this tapestry needle. They're sometimes called yarn needles. It's just basically a needle that's big, thick, and chunky with an eye big enough for the yarn to fit through. And we're going to run our tail of yarn underneath our stitches. So I'm just gonna take my needle and run it under some of the stitches, then out right about there or so. And then to get the yarn onto the hook, you can take it and pinch it over the side of the needle. And then push that fold up through there. A little hard to see because of the end of the cable. 
but that's just a little tip to get the yarn onto your needle. We'll pull it through and we'll trim it off there. Go to the end where we started and repeat the same idea. We're gonna run our needle down through some of our stitches underneath the yarn. Just make sure you don't run your needle into the cable because that wouldn't be very good. Again, I'm gonna take my yarn and pinch it over the eye of the needle and then I can slide it right up through the eye there. And run this thread, this piece of yarn right down through there. Trim it. And our crochet cable cover is complete. So this is a really simple way to salvage some of your cables, especially if they're wearing down at the ends like mine were. This is also a great beginner friendly project because we just use the one stitch the whole way along. You don't have to worry about extra rows and things like that. And these would also make for either great gift ideas if you wanted to spruce up somebody's cables and personalize them, or you could even try selling these because they don't take too long to make once you get the hang of it. But they're just a really nice, easy way to customize cables and make them more durable. If you enjoyed this project, let me know by liking the video and leaving me a comment down below. And if you're new to my channel, make sure you subscribe because I post new content every single week in Tutus or Tutorial Tuesdays, where I will show you different projects and DIYs that I'm doing. But thank you so much for watching. I hope you have an awesome day and happy crafting.